Now after creating project profile, the next step is a pro create project types for a WBS element. Just click on the create project type for WBS element. So here you can be create a different project type for a different particular project as per your business requirement. So just click on the new entries and you can create a new project type. Got it? And you can be create a n number of project types as per your business processes in the scenario. Finally save. Then specify applicant for the WBS element. The applicant is the person who actual work on that particular project. Okay. So there is a two kinds of uh, persons are there. One is a person responsible. The person responsible is the prime responsibility of that particular WBS or particular project. And the uh, person responsible depute or allocate if there is any applicant was there who can be do the actual work on that particular project. So either you can be maintain the numbers or you can be maintain the employee ID. And you have to maintain the name of that particular person. You can give a full name also. And you have to save. Similarly, you can be maintain the person responsible also in the system. The below node of the applicant, there is the person responsible. Later on, you can be utilize this applicant and person responsible in the during the creation of the project or a creation of the WBS. So 2001 is already maintained. So I will replace 2001 to 2003 because SAP doesn't take the repetitive entries and finally save. See if you scroll down, if you can find out the 2001. See, this is already maintained in the system. So we are not using the 2001. Then define priorities of for the WBS element. So you can set the priorities for that particular WBS element, whether it is a high, low, medium, very high, extremely high, these kinds of priority you can be set here. Or you can create your own priorities also if you want. Define field selection for WBS element. So here you can be maintained which fields you want as a input required display hide and highlights okay so basically there are different fields if you go to the cj20 and transaction code under project definition or under wbs there are different kinds of fields was there so whatever that fields you need as a input you just select the input now if you particular fields like applicant number if you want as a required then you have to tick the required so automatically that field is a mandatory during the creation of that particular transaction code. Okay. Or creation of that particular WPS. If you maintain as a display, that field is a display or a grayed out. You cannot enter any data in that particular field. If you want to hide that particular field from that particular particular tab, you can be hide that particular field. And if you want to highlight that particular user want to input that field and you want to highlight that field right a highlight is comes under the yellow box okay so that means that particular field is a highlight which is not a mandatory but it is a highlight so that is called as a field selection so you can be maintain the all the fields as a input required either input required either display either hide or you can be marked as a highlight same way you can be do the field mandatory for the WBS element also. The field is the input required display hide and the highlight. 
now create user defined fields for the WBS element now I will show you now if you go to the WBS there is a called as a user fields now there are certain fields which are the available in the SAP and some user specific or a business requirement specific fields if you want to manage on the WBS level you can be managed here okay so how to maintain that particular settings you have to just select anyone now if you want the text field as a your employee ID uh, your uh, employee name and your quantity field as a employee code uh, or your employee code or whatever you want to maintain something field which is user specific then you can be maintained here see that field get reflected here now employee name and the employee code got it so this is the way you can be create the field according to the user specific or as per your business requirement now moving ahead network again there are the status profile was there on the network or activity so network is nothing but the order which binding the activities okay so if you want to create some activities below the particular WBS you have to create a network and network is the order which binding the all the activities so your operations or your number of works under that particular WBS if you want to capture you have to create a network and the activity in the system so again if you want to create some user status profile on the network you can be create so we have already created ZPS01 so we will copy from the ZPS001 continue so I will rename as a 02 user status profile see it copies the entire thing now I change the object type I change the object type as a network so I have to change the network header and network activity I have to assign and finally save So this is the way I can allocate the status profile. So whenever I go to create any new network activity system will automatically pick up this status profile. Setting for network. Maintain network types. So these are the standard network types provided by the SAP. PS010203040304 and 05. Or you can create your own network type to copy from the standard. So I will create one network type with copy. then whether it is used for the planning then just tick on the planning then functional area if you have then maintain or otherwise keep it as a blank object class so there are different kinds of object class production overhead investment profit analysis so you have to choose the appropriate object class settlement profile settlement profile is nothing but to settle the cost from the network to WBS and later on WBS to project we need to maintain the settlement profile we will see in a later a node or how to create a settlement profile so you have to assign the appropriate settlement profile here got it so settlement profile you have to maintain to manage the network activity and then the status profile so we will assign the status profile created by us enter so our new network profile get created in the system so this is the way to create a network type for the network profile now specify parameter for network type so for each network type you have to assign the plant okay so now for my network type I will assign the plant so again I will copy I have selected one so I will assign my network profile that is ZPS1 strategy so what is your strategy for that particular network type whether it is a WBS element or a project whether it is a w only for a WBS element so always choose a 01 for WBS element and the project definition default rule is a PS1 the costing variant which we will see in a later on for a plan and actual so to plan 
the particular cost you have a costing variant need to be created and which is created by the fi consultant then it will be always as a determined plan cost okay workflow if you want to activate the standard workflow with the help of workflow consultant for the po change you have to tick this your wps your network is always as a activity account assignment to capture the cost if you want to create any collective purchase equation once you tick this your equation will get created automatically and it will be a collective purchase equation that is if you create a number of requisition under that particular network it will be gives you the one requisition along with the different items okay so it will be one requisition number get created only if you not untick this checkbox then it will be created a different different purchase equation if you want to activate a change document you have to do the change document tick for all the documents so system will allow who have do the changes on that particular network okay and you have to maintain the appropriate change profile that we will see the later on in a later node so this is a standard network change profile was there finally enter and save so your network profile get created and assigned to the particular plant finally maintain network profile where you can be able to maintain the network profile default values again the network profile is similar kind of think of the project profile where you can be set your default values and it will automatically get copy once you create a network so i will copy the 1001 or you can go for a new entries also then i will change the plant as a 1000 i will change the network type is my network this ps1 i will give the name as a zps001 okay planner group that is for doing the plan cost or a plan schedule then mrp controller which is mandatory to run the material requirement planning then release reservation and purchase equation how you want to create a reservation or purchase equation if you set the never then it will not create any purchase equation if you from release then once you release that particular network it will give create a purchase equation or if you set as a immediately you can be as soon as you can be create a network activity and you assign the material system will automatically create a purchase equation with the appropriate settings then level of details you want to uh, able to see the structure or a network activity numbers which is started with a 0010 okay project summarization if you want you have to tick here then version profile you can be set the version profile for the different particular see the versions then the graphical setting this is particular for a grand chart or a project planning board these are the standard setting we are not disturbing this activities where you can be able to set the control keys different kinds of control keys was there which we will see the later on the ps01 03 01 is for the internal activity 02 and 03 for the external or a service activity and 05 04 is a general cost act 03 is for a general cost activity so these are the default values you can be set so whenever you create activities it will be copy there finally press enter and your network profile get created in the system now set up the number ranges for a network now if i want to set up some number ranges for the particular network i can use the number ranges so to set the number ranges you have to click on the interval and here you can be maintain the number ranges for particular network or you can be choose the existing one so you can be use the range according to your requirement of that particular creation of the network and you can be provided this range here got it